نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهد الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد اخوتي في الله اعلموا ان خير الكلام كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد اخوتي في الله for the upcoming 30 minutes with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I request you to lend me your heart and your mind I want you to leave this world behind I want you to travel with me through time and imagine yourself in front of a greatest one of the greatest gatherings as a matter of fact it is indeed the greatest gathering that ever gathered on the planet of earth imagine yourself is standing or looking at over 100,000 muslims mu'min rather sahabi and they are looking at the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam the time the day is the day of arafa the year is the 10th of hijrah it is indeed the last and the only hajj that he sallallahu alayhi wasallam performed and while he was on his mount, Allah revealed on him on the day of Jum'ah, Al-Yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum, wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati, wa raditu lakum al-Islam deena. Today I have perfected your religion. And I have chosen Al-Islam as your religion. Today I have perfected my bounties, my blessings upon you. فَبَكَى عُمَرْ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ كَمَا فِي بْنَ جَرِيرِ كَمَا ذَكَرَ فِي بْنَ جَرِيرِ مَا يُبْكِيك عُمَرْ بِنُ الْخَطَّابِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ He weeped after he heard the ayah. The Messenger of Allah said to him, O oh, Umar, what would you cry and weep? فَقَالَ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ لَيْسَ بَعْدِ الْكَمَالِ إِلَّا النُّقْصَانِ He said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, there is no after perfection except imperfection. Umar bin Khattab felt from that ayah, 
that the time of the messenger of Allah was near. And Umar ibn al-Khattab, we because he knew and he realized that day is coming soon or later. And then the messenger of Allah moved with the Sahaba to Muzdalifa, then to Al Aqaba. And then he stood in front of the Sahaba once again, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Fakala Khudu Anni Mana Sikakum. Khudu Anni Mana Sikakum. Fala Ali La Hudju Bada Hajjati Hadi. Rawahu al Bukhari. The Messenger of Allah he turned to the Sahaba while they were throwing the Jamarat. And he said to the Sahaba, turn, take your rituals from me. Learn from me. See what I'm doing. This is part of your religion, perhaps. This could be my last Hajj ever. And then the Sahaba went along. And then the days of Tashriq came. The days of Mina came. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed. إِذَا جَاءَ النَّصُرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ يَا مُحَمَّدْ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِذَا جَاءَ النَّصُرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجًا فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا يَا مُحَمَّدْ when the victory of Allah comes, when the, the Congress of the city of Mecca comes, and you see people entering Islam as large numbers, praise your Lord and ask for his forgiveness. Yaqul ibn Abbas, Kana Umar radiyallahu anhu yudkhilini ma'a ba'da ashiyakh badr. Umar bin Khattab, he used to bring me with him when we have a meeting with the people of Badr. فَقَالَ بَعْضُهُمْ Some of them said, لِمَا يُدْخِلُ هَذَا عَلَيْنَا وَلَنَا أَبْنَا مِثْلَهُ Why would this little boy would come to other gather, our gatherings and meetings while we, while we have children of his age? قَالَ عُمَرْ هو من حيث علمتم. He is who he is. قال ذاك ذات يوم دعاني عمر. One day عمر قام رضي الله عنه. أن الصحابة أن أن أهل بدر أن صار أن المهاجرين والسرين. And he said to them. ما تقولون في قول الله تعالى إذا جاء النصر الله. And he recited Surah Al-Nasr. He said, what would you say? What is your understanding concerning Ida Ja'an Nasrullah? The Sahaba, they said, Allah is ordering us to praise Him and ask forgiveness if we became victorious. Qala wa sakata ba'aduhum. And some of them were silent. قَالَ مَا تَقُولُ يَا ابْنَ عَبَّاسِ O son of Abbas, what is your interpretation and understanding of this chapter? قَالَ That is not what I understand. Rather Allah is telling his messenger that his time is up. So when you see the people coming to Islam in large numbers, then praise your Lord and ask forgiveness. قَالَ عُمَرْ وَاللَّهِ this is how I understood. And then the messenger of Allah came to the city of Medina. And the first pain that he felt or the beginning of the illness was simple headache. The messenger of Allah felt headache. That would not go away. Qalat Aisha. 
كما في سنن البيهقي وابن الماجه والصحاحه الالباني قالت رجع رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من البقيع وبي الصداع the messenger of Allah came back from the visit, from visiting al baqiyah the Sahaba, and I had headache. So I said to him, Wa'ra'sah, oh my head, my head really hurts. Faqala, bal ya Aisha tu wa'ra'sah. No, Aisha, it's not you who have headache, it is I who have headache. And then he said, Sallallahu, even at that situation, he said, Ya Aisha, Ma darruki. He said, What would happen to you? There's nothing going to happen to you. If you die before me, Ghasantuki, I would wash you. Wakafantuki, I would put the shrouds on you myself. Wasallaytu alayki, I would pray on you. Wadafantuki, and I will bury you. Aisha, being who she was, a jealous person, a loving wife, قالت, She said, I can see wallahi when you do this, Ya Rasulullah. فَرَجَعْتَ إِلَىٰ بَيْتِ فَعَرَّسْتَ فِيهِ بِبَعْضِ نِسَائِكَ And subhanallah, she said, oh, Wallahi, Ya Rasul, I know you may, you will do that if, you, if I die before you. But I can see that after you do all this, you will come back and bring other women to my house. Then he got ill. And he continues, continues getting ill until he died from that illness. And then he was going from one house to another. And he would say, Aina ana ghad? Where am I tomorrow? Where am I? Asking his wife, looking for the night that he's going to be at Aisha's house. Qalat, فَلَمَّا كَانَ فِي بَيْتِ مَيْمُونَ While he was in the house of Maymuna. And the Messenger of Allah was getting very ill, heavy, can hardly talk and hardly walk. The people came and they brought medication. Give him medication. And when you force a person to take medication from the side of the cheek, and Rasulullah said, he only saying no because he doesn't want to take the medication like any other sick person. And when the messenger of Allah felt a little bit stronger, Did I not ask you, do not force me to take medication? They said, we thought you would hate medication like any other ill person. Al-Abbas lam yashhadukum. He said, each one of you, every one of you who witnessed that will go through the same thing. He will get ill and people will force medication on him except my uncle Abbas because he wasn't here. And that's how it happened. <coughs> then the time the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked permission and he said to his wives, allow me to be in the house of Aisha. So they brought him to the house of Aisha. فَقَالَ يَا عَائِشَ When he came, قَالَ يَا عَائِشَ This is the time that I feel the pain. أَلَمُ الطَّعَامَ الَّذِي أَكَلْتَهُ بِخَيْرِ This is the time, والحديث في صحيح البخاري. This is the time that I feel the pain of the poison meat that I ate in Khaybar. This is the time when it will kill me. This is the time. A Yahudi lady poisoned the messenger of Allah the day of Khaybar. 
and he ate the meat. And he said, it is only now that that effect, that poison is coming back. And he will kill me. Qalat Aisha radiyallahu anha. Messenger of Allah got weaker and weaker and weaker. Faqala, muru Aba Bakrin fadli yusalli bin nas. Or Aba Bakr al-Siddiq, let him lead the salah. فقالت عائشة يا رسول الله أبا بكر رجل ضعيف أبو بكر is very weak person لا يسمع الناس من بكائه he will not allow the people to hear his recitation from his crying يا رسول الله مر عمر فليصلي بالناس or Umar, he's stronger, he's louder you know he can let the people hear the recitation let him let Umar lead قال مر أبا بكر فليصلي بالناس أر أبا بكر لا أبا بكر لي دصرا قالت فقلت لحفص I said to حفص قل لرسول الله ask the messenger of Allah to order Umar to lead the salah indeed أبا بكر is person that is weak and he won't let the people hear from recitation so حفص she went to the messenger of Allah والحديث في صحيح البخاري ومسلم فقالت يا رسول الله مر أبا بكر فليصلي بالناس مر عمر فليصلي بالناس قال قال إن كنا لأنتن صواحب يوسف مر أبا بكر فليصلي بالناس he said you are indeed Plotting like the women that plot against Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam or Abu Bakrin, let him lead the salah. Hafsa came back to Aisha. She said, You always put me in trouble with the messenger of Allah, and she walked away. Ikhwati fi Allah taqaddamu. Taqaddamu Allah, your brothers. Then the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Keep getting weaker and weaker and weaker. On the Thursday, ya ikhwati fi Allah, kama fi Sahih al Bukhari. On Thursday, the Messenger of Allah said, "Itune bi kitabin. Bring me a paper, something. Aktubu lakum." I will write something for you. لا تظل بعد. You will not go straight after it. Some of the Sahaba they said, the Messenger of Allah is saying this because he's he's extremely sick. We indeed have the Book of Allah. That's what we need. قال انصرف. He said, leave. ما أنا فيه خير مما you say I what I'm in is better than what you're claiming that I'm leave. So they left. The messenger of Allah. After that. He said to Aisha, bring me cold water. So they bought cold water. فلعلي أحد إلى الناس perhaps. I can give the people the farewell khutbah. So Aisha, they brought water and they started pouring on Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. قالت حتى قال إنف إنف قد فعلتنا كما في صحيح البخاري ومسلم. Indeed, you did it. So the Messenger of Allah came. يقول ابن سعيد الخدر رضي الله عنه خطب النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم the messenger of Allah gave khutbah فقال and he said إن الله خير عبدا بين الدنيا وفيما عنده فاختار ما عند الله Allah gave a servant a choice between this dunya and the thing that is with Allah so he chose that with Allah. قَالَ فَبَكَ أَبُوْ بَكْرٍ And then Abu Bakr cried. 
فقال أبو سعيد الخدري فقلت في نفسي I said to myself عجبا لهذا الشيخ What is wrong with the old man إن يكن الله خير عبدا بين الدنيا وبين ما عنده فاختار ما عند الله If Allah gave a servant a choice between dunya and what it is with Allah and he chose with that which is Allah which was with Allah why would he cry? قال أبو بكر قال أبي سعيد الخدري فكان رسول الله هو العبد وكان أبو بكر أعلمنا That servant and the messenger of Allah was implying was Rasulullah and Abu Bakr knew the best. And then the Messenger of Allah came up in Bukhari. He turned to Abu Bakr and Fakala Ya Abu Bakr in La Tabki. Abu Bakr, don't cry. And then he turned to the Sahaba. Fakala inna amanna nasa aliyya bi suhbatihi wa mari. Abu Bakr. He said, the people that have favor, most favor over me in terms of his companionship and his wealth is Abu Bakr. If I were to take, to, if I were to take, if I were to take a friend or a Khalil, other than Allah, I would have taken Abu Bakr Khalil. But Islam Rather, is a brotherhood in Islam and the love that we have for each other. فَقَالَ لَا يَبْقَيَنَّ And then he says, صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يبقينا باب في المسجد إلا سد إلا باب أبا بكر He said, all the gates that leads to the masjid must be sealed except the gates of that except the door of Abu Bakr al-Siddi. يقول أب سعيد الخدر رضي الله عنه this is the thing that we did not understand. And the messenger of Allah came back to his house. He came back. Thursday, after that, he did not come out. Friday, he could not come out. Saturday, he could not come out. Sunday, he could not come out. And Monday, Salat al-Fajr, he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, while the Sahaba were praying behind Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, he removed the curtain from the house of Aisha. And then he smiled, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he looked at the Sahaba as though this was the first, last time and the farewell look. And then he smiled, qala thumma dhahik, and he smiled wider. And Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiyallahu anhu started start coming back. So perhaps the messenger of Allah will get up. And the Sahaba yaqul anas. And the Sahaba felt that someone is watching. Kadu an yiftatinu, an yiftatinu fi salatihim. The Sahaba will get panic in their salah. And then the messenger of Allah said to Abu Bakr, he said, makanak, stay where you are. And then, he closed the curtain. He closed the curtain. Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. He felt joy. He came to the messenger of Allah. And he said, Ya Rasulullah, I haven't visited my wife who was living outside of the city. Give me a permission. Let me go there. So Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu was giving the permission. At that time, Ya Ikhwati Fillah, Aisha said, Abdurrahman bin Abi Bakr came and he had miswak. And I'm holding the head of the messenger of Allah on my lap. And I'm heading, held him closer to my chest. And he could not speak. And he, I saw him looking at Abdurrahman bin Abi Bakr. And in his hand he has miswak. So I said to Rasulullah, do you want the miswak? And he nodded, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So I took the miswak, I softened for him, and he started using the miswak so hard. And she said, 
There is no Nabi before death comes except that Allah will show him his place in Jannah and allow him to choose to go to Jannah or stay in this dunya. And then when he took the miswak out of his mouth, he raised his hand sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, no, but Rafiq al-A'la, I want to be with the most high companions. قَالَ فَعَلِمْتُ أَنَّهُ لَا يَخْتَارِنَا صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ I realized that he would not choose us. I realized that he would not stay with us sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then she said his hand was up. He said it came down and he died sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She said radiyallahu anha. When that happened, I covered the face and the body of the messenger of Allah. And shortly after that, Umar ibn Khattab with his strong voice, he said, allow me to see the messenger of Allah. Allow me to see him, thinking that he's still alive. So he came, and I put my hijab on and I walked away. With him was Al-Mughira radiyallahu anhu. So he looked at the messenger of Allah. فَقَالَ وَغَشَ يَهْيَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ He said, you look so tired. Oh, messenger of Allah. You look so... He said, Ya Rasulullah, you look so tired. You look so weak. And then he got up. And then Al Mughira at the door he said, He said, Ya Umar, Mata Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah is dead. And then Umar radiallahu anhu, he grabbed him and he turned to him. فَقَالَ يَا مُغِيرَ He said, oh, Mughira, you are a man that is boiling with fitna. Wallahi, Rasulullah will not die until he kills all the munafiqeen and he leaves this deen pure without hypocrites. Ya Mughira, إِنَّكَ مُرُنْ تُسُوسُهُ تَحُوسُهُ الْفِتْنَ فَقَالَ قَدْ مَاتَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ he said, Rasulullah is dead. And every time, every time that Umar bin Khattab radiallahu anh used to remember this, used to say to the people, لا شيء مما ترى تبقى بشاشته ويبقى الإله وينفد المال والولد لم تغني عن هرمز يوما خزائنه والخلد قد حاورت عاد فما خلدوا أين الملوك التي كانت لعزتها من كل أوب وافد يفد حوض هنالك غير بلا كذب لا بد من ورده إذا وردوا and then at that moment عمر بن الخطاب رضي الله عنه comes out of the room saying to everyone anyone who says the messenger is dead. Wallahi, I will kill him. And Rasulullah will come back and kill and cut the hands and the feet of anyone who claims that. And the people got confused. They got confused. Should they believe Umar or Mughira? And a Sahabi by the, na by the name Salim bin Ubayd, he went to Abu Bakr as Siddiq. And Abu Bakr came. Abu Bakr came. And when Abu Bakr came, he looked at the messenger of Allah and he uncovered the face of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said to him, you are good at life and dead, O messenger of Allah. And then he came to the masjid and Umar with his sword standing there Standing, approach, I mean, addressing to the people, فَقَالَ إِجْلِسْ يَا عُمَرْ Sit down, O Umar. But Umar did not sit down. قَالَ يَا عُمَرْ Sit down. But Umar did not pay any attention to him. 
قال يا عمر sit down but Umar did not listen to Abu Bakr al-Siddiq then Abu Bakr went to the member فقال يا أيها الناس after he praised Allah his very well known speech فقال يا أيها الناس من كان يعبد محمد فإن محمد قد مات whoever used to worship Muhammad Muhammad indeed is dead ومن كان يعبد الله فإن الله حي لا يموت whoever used to worship Allah والله الله is ever living and he will never die and then he recited إنك ميت وإنهم ميتون وما محمد إلا رسول قد خلت من قبله الرسل أفإن مات أو قتل انقلبتم على أعقابكم ومن ينقلب على عقبه فلن يضر الله شيئا وسيجزي الله الشاكرين يقول عمر رضي الله عنه Only at that moment Only at that time I realized that Rasulullah is real dead قال my feet could not carry me And then the Sahaba رضي الله عنه تقول أم السلمة We stayed up all night long All night long Hoping to see Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم for the last time And then all of a sudden we were told that the messenger of Allah cannot be seen قالت فخرج بلال رضي الله عنه أم بلال رضي الله عنه He came up and Abu Bakr, who the Sahaba would look at, at, at him as a leader, قَالَ يَا بِلَالْ أَدْنِ فِي النَّاسِ Umm Salama, she said, we were listening to the adhan of Bilal. And Bilal came, and remember, يَا إِخْوَةِ فِي اللَّهِ Bilal and Rasulullah, they were like this. At the time of hardship, they were together. At the time of hunger, they were together. At the time of war, they were together. At the time of you know, peace, they were together. At the time of sadaq giving the masakin, they were together. At the time of hajj, they were together. At the time of umrah, they were together. Every salah, they were together. Abilal radiyallahu an used to wait for kalima from Rasulullah to come through that curtain. And this was the most happiest moment of his life when the messenger of Allah comes and he says to him, Ya Bilal, arihna biha. And all of a sudden now, someone else other than the messenger of Allah is telling Bilal to call the Adhan. And Bilal radiyallahu anhu, he looked at the room, at the hijr of Rasulullah. And there's the messenger of Allah was not the one who was giving the instruction. And Bilal, he went to the member. فَقَالَ Allahu Akbar. And he looked towards the room, but said, Rasulullah is not coming. فَقَالَ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرْ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرْ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرْ And then he said, أَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ أَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ فَقَالَتْ أُمَّ السَّلَمَةِ When Bilal said, أَشْهَدُ أَنْ مُحَمَّدُ رَسُولُ اللَّهُ She said, this is the moment that the whole city of Medina could not stop crying. Because all of them remember that Rasulullah will never ever come out out of that room ever again. فَقَالَ أَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدَ وَرَسُولُ اللَّهِ And then he came out and he threw himself after the adhan. فَقَالَ يَا أَبَا بَكْرٍ يَا أَبَا بَكْرٍ Ask anyone else to lead to call the adhan. فَوَاللَّهِ لَا أُؤَذِّنْ لِأَحْدٍ بَعْدَ مُحَمَّدَ صَلَّى بَعْدَ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ Ask anybody to call the Adhan. For Wallahi, I would never call Adhan for anyone after the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. وَبِنَّا فَمَا ابْتَلَّتْ جَوَانِحُنَا شَوْقًا إِلَيْكُمْ وَلَا ابْتَلَّتْ وَلَا جَفَّتْ مَعَاقِينَا تَكَادُ حِينَ تُنَاجِيكُمْ ضَمَائِرُنَا يَقْضِي عَلَيْهَا الْأَسَى لَوْلَا تَآسِينَا إِنْ كَانَ قَدْ عَزَّ فِي الدُّنْيَا لِقَاهُ ففي مواقف الحشن القاكم ويكفينا. If we could not meet the messenger of Allah in this dunya, we would meet him on مواقف الحشر. We would meet him on the day of يوم القيامة صلى الله عليه وسلم. We would hug him, 
we will kiss him, we will say, Ya Rasulullah, yes, we never met you. We were not blessed enough to see you. But Ya Rasulullah, we lived for your deen. And we died for your deen, inshallah. And Allah, inshallah, would not separate us between us and Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I'll call him, 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 I'll call him. الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم سيدنا والنبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين نشد أنه بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة وكشف الغمة وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى أتاه اليقين فصلوات الله وسلامه عليه ما تطوع مسك وفاح وما ترنم حمام وصاح وما هذا لغرق وناح إخوة في الله if you allow your brothers who are standing outside of the masjid to walk in and obey the orders of Allah when he said, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِذَا قِيلَ لَكُمْ تَفَسَّحُوا فِي الْمَجَالِسِ فَفْسَحُوا يَفْسَحِ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ Oh, who you believe when you ask them to move forward and allow other people, give them space and allow them to sit, move forward. Listen to the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and squeeze yourself and allow your brothers who are standing outside to enter the house of Allah. I know we can never be part of his life sallallahu alayhi wa sallam per se. We cannot hug him like the sahaba. We cannot feel his skin. We cannot shake his hand. We cannot sit with him in a halaq. We cannot take it from him directly. However, ya ikhwati fillah, as long we have the deen of Allah, we still can be part of that legacy. And we can establish this deen, the deen of Allah, in the city of Toronto. And I have to leave you with this, ya ikhwati fillah, that in the city of Toronto, there's one of the masajid that was trying to establish the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, trying to provide for the young people, trying to give them a glimpse of that life while they exposed to the other side, the other wild side or the fitness side of this world. The only issue with this mosque, ikhwati fillah, the brothers who are running this masjid, they will be defaulting the payment of the masjid. So this masjid that was being, alhamdulillah, they purchased for $3 million. They only have less than $150,000 as they told me this morning. And they asked me to come and give the khutbah to the congregation of Hurairah and see if they can help them to, to rescue the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And at least on the day of Yom Al-Qiyamah, that moment that you live for, when you see the messenger of Allah, you say, Ya Rasulullah, I indeed contributed to your deen, to the deen of Allah. I gave something, Ya Rasulullah, for Allah, of course, but because of the love that we have for the deen of Islam. And you say, Ya Rasulullah, I, take, I took part of that. So the brothers are standing outside. Please help them out as much as you can. And if you cannot help them, make sure you, 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 you circulate the words and I'll make sure that the masjid will not go back to the hands of the original owner, which is a kafir. The original owner of the masjid is not a Muslim. And he was a decent man who honored his contract. And as a Muslim, we should honor our contract. Help the brothers, they're standing outside. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. Allahumma azza al-islamu al-Muslimin. اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم ارحمنا فأنت بنا راحم ولا تعذبنا فأنت علينا قادر وأقم الصلاة يرحمني ويرحمكم